and I juice a little spot on the couch. I do sometimes change this up. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Hedger, and I'm gonna talk about intimacy or friendship with Jesus with you guys. I think the biggest thing that has helped me throughout my entire Christian walk is that He actually loves me even in my weakness. And so it's not my sin. He, he doesn't love my sin, but He loves me and He knows that I'm not perfect yet. And, um, and He knows that I am pursuing holiness and for bigger words, like it's sanctification. It's, it's learning how to grow more like Jesus and saying no to things that were in my past or, or patterns of, of behavior that, that aren't holy and pursuing it. It's like in those moments where maybe I fall back into an old pattern of thinking or um, like I just wake up in a grumpy mood or whatever it is, like he still loves me in my weakness. And I think when I actually believe that, because I still wrestle through that even now, um, there are days where I'm like, gosh, do you even like me? But when I realize that he, he does, like he loves me in my weakness, then then I can come to him about anything. And there's no, there's no barrier, there's no shame, there's no, um, there's no blockage um, or wall in my heart. And, and then that helps my friendship and my intimacy with him grow. Because then I'm not just trying to stand at a distance, trying to be perfect and trying to say the right things in my quiet time or say the right prayers or do the Christian thing. It's like I can be raw and real with him because he loves me no matter what. And when I can come to him in my weakness, like he really does show me his strength and, and I feel his love and our friendship only grows deeper. The same with, with a friend, like being vulnerable with a friend. Like um, we can try to be these perfect friends with everybody, um, but it's like those moments when you're nitty gritty where you let your, your friends just cry with you or you, you tell them like the hard stuff you're going through. It's the same with Jesus and you only grow more in depth and in friendship with him. But everybody's friendship with Jesus is gonna look different because not all of your friendships on earth are the same. Like people are different. And so the way that I relate to Jesus and maybe talk to him about things is gonna be different than you or Andy Bird or John Mark or, and so I, I think this is just one way that I do it, but it's not the only way. three years. I've lived with three Canadians and my house is filled with Canadian propaganda. 